Hi there guys. This is going to be a love reading for water sign couples. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, sorry yours is last. Uh, I wasn't actually going to do it tonight. I'm just really exhausted from all of the readings that I've been doing. But it's the last one. So I figured I would just kind of get it out there for you guys that have been very patiently waiting. So... Let's just get straight into it. Any announcements I have, we'll do at the end. Spirit Guides and Angels, this is going to be a love reading for the signs of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces couples in regards to love. What messages do you have for these signs for love? For July 2017. Messages for love. For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, in regards to love. Why do your cards feel funky? Is this funky energy that's going to be coming out? We'll see. Love reading for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is for couples. Here we go. Playfulness. Children. Honeymoon. Engagement. Deception. Hmm. Forgiving and learning. attraction and codependencies wow it's a lot of um, repeat cards I notice when I do a lot of water signs um, specifically the water signs that I've done recently it's a lot of these same cards that are popping up even for my person you know I'm talking about my personal readings but something's in the air there's a shift you know that cycle that um, wheel of fortunes turning this cards popping up all the time too Scorpio energy, but it's also about the ending of something, transformation, right? Death symbolizes the end. It's 11-11 right now in Hawaii on my microwave, 11-11 at night. All right, well, maybe that'll be good luck for you guys. Let's see. All right, guys. First card, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine with the Ace of Cups. Sorry if it's dark. I apologize. At nighttime when I do readings, it's dark in the kitchen. <coughs> Ace of Cups. Well, that is new beginnings, right? New beginnings in love. Um, the W or the M could be relevant for you guys. Ace of Cups, beautiful, beautiful energy to start off with. So let's see what clarifiers we have for that. Three of Pentacles is for me about like marriage and commitment. So for some of you couples, you guys may be taking things to the next level. There might be this new beginning for you guys, meaning that you guys are going to be taking the steps for engagement, for marriage. Mm. Interesting card. Ten of Swords is the end of mental entrapment. It's the end of anxiety. It's the end of thoughts keeping you awake at night. So I'm feeling that some of you couples have been going through some shit. You guys have been going through some shit. What kind of shit though? A lot of it has to do with your partner. Either yourself or your partner has a lot of healing to do. 
a lot. And I want to say that this comes from things that have happened to them in their childhood. This also comes from things that they have not healed and let go of from a previous relationship. Next cards are children. Your love life is being affected by children with the Empress. Double mother energy type of cards, right? Children and Empress is about like fertility, pregnancy. So for some of you guys, congratulations. You guys are pregnant, going to have a baby. Empress is about she's also about like when I look at this card I feel I'm sorry I just saw that the Empress is a three I feel like a lot of you Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces are seeing threes. Threes a lot. Three, three, three. Threes. Threes. A lot of you guys that this message might be for has three children. Three, for some reason, is very important. There was a three here, two, three of pentacles. I don't know. I'm just, I keep seeing three. Threes. Okay, so this eight of cups is about moving on. Oh, wow, my heart just got really heavy. I think this message is also for those of you that cannot have children, that have been trying desperately to have children and cannot. This is about moving on, about releasing love and emotion. Releasing love and emotion. Um, yeah, for, this is for some of you guys that cannot have children. It's a struggle. It's been a struggle for some of you guys. For some of you, this is the reason you're having issues in your marriage. Well, and I'm very sorry for those of you that are trying to have children and cannot. I really am. I feel very sorry. My heart goes out to you. I want to tell you guys something that a lot of people that try to have children and cannot, the intent is constantly there. And I know people personally that the second that they adopt a kid or the second that they give up on this idea of we're trying, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying, and they stop trying, it's when it comes to them. I just wanted to throw that out there for some of you guys. Next set of cards are honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together with the nine of pentacles. So some of you guys are doing fantastic honeymoon stage for some of you. Nine of Pentacles is normally like a single card. Singles being, you know, enjoying their life in abundance, right? But for some of you guys, this is the way you're living. Things are going great. You guys are surrounded by abundance. This is earthly energy too, right? Your partner is grounding you. You're grounding your, other, your partner. It's like a partnership. It's a balance. Page of Cups. This could be for your energy right but this is also an offer of love new offer of love too i think like a lot of you guys may have renewed your vows that's what i feel renewal of vows high priestess b or j could be very relevant she comes out to remind us to use our intuition she comes out to tell us stay in your power I, I just feel like Philadelphia is very relevant right now. Philadelphia. Garrett. I don't know why. Philadelphia and Garrett is just, just came to my mind. If it resonates for you guys, please leave a comment. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about something new that's happening, right? Pages are young. So some of you guys are just getting engaged, starting this beautiful new life together. Yep, celebrations. <sighs> I'm sorry. 
as soon as I saw celebrations, I also got this pain in my heart. For some of you guys that have just recently gotten engaged or just recently gotten married, it's a third party situation here. You see how there's another three? And how I mentioned to you guys, I feel threes for some reason. Maybe I feel threes because of a third party. Very rarely do I feel this card is for third parties, but I do. I'm going to tell you guys why. Because the very next set of cards are deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship with the tower. The tower. The tower is about breakups. It could be about divorce. Tower comes in to redirect. The tower has maybe not come in for a lot of you yet, but it's coming. The cards don't lie. Of course, this does not resonate for every single person. For So for all of you watching, the tower is not going to come in for all of you. This is just for those that it resonates with. King of Swords. So this might be for some of you. And you see King of Swords is a divorced man. It's also air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So for some of you guys, you have an air partner. The world, the world, it's amazing. The world and the tower and Scorpio death likes to come out a lot together. Um, I just saw 1111 on my timer on my phone too. It's crazy. Okay, so the world card is about things coming full circle. It's a cycle, a beginning and an end. There's space too, yeah? The world is like long distance. World Wide Web to Internet. I feel like some of you guys found out about this third party through snooping on the Internet. You snooped on the Internet and you found some shit out. This is not for all of you guys. There's bliss over here for some of you. And then here we got a different group of people. It's a different group of people. <sighs> the Ten of Fucking Cups. Attached to deception. Attached to the tower and attached to the world. This is going to happen for some of you, but it will bring this. The end result will be this for some of you. Then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments with the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is a card about burden. There's a lot of burden going on in some of your relationships because you or your partner have so much healing to do that you did not take care of before you got into this relationship. So now it's a heavy fucking load. It's burden. Eight of Wands is like being on the defense, being attacked. Refusing a love offer. So for some of you guys, you are going through some shit. You are going through some shit. And then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully with the Queen of Swords. This is air again. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This also could be for a divorced woman. Divorce. Sorry, guys. It's what it is. I see it. It's what the cards say. Queen of Swords, though, is also about someone that is very... She cuts with her tongue. She doesn't think before she speaks. Very strong. Very logical. Cold, almost. You know, cold, so to speak. It's, attra it's attached to attraction. Attraction is the card for me about being in the moment. Just being. Judgment. There's a decision that's going to be made. Wow, here it is. Wheel of Fortune. Karmic. This is about karmic things. When the tower... Oh, this is so creepy. The tower has been coming out with Wheel of Fortune and the world... Also with Scorpio death. It's crazy. And it's all kind of been related to air, uh, water signs a lot too. So this is your cycle. Water signs, this is your cycle. This could be about destiny and serendipity also. Karmic. Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings in something as far as like home, career. Right? These are new beginnings that it's going to bring for some of you. And then we got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life with the Two of Pentacles. Oh, so some of these guys got some codependencies to deal with. Two of Pentacles is this card about juggling. Could be Twin Flame also. So some of you are in a very, very bad Twin Flame relationship. Codependencies are codependent things on like alcohol, drugs, money. Codependent on your partner. Codependent on Ace of Wands. 
What are you guys codependent on? Queen of Wands. Some of you are extremely codependent on a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about leaving someone out in the cold. Very, very interesting reading. Very interesting reading so far. Let's just take a couple more cards. Release your ex. I knew that that was going to come out. I could feel it. We got the tower. The tower is there. The tower is there for a reason. Release your ex. Very soon. An unrequited love. Very clear message spirit is giving. Release your ex very soon. An unrequited. There it is. There it is. There it is. Did I not tell you guys when these cards come out? It's all the same cards that come out. It's the end. It's time to release some of your exes. This is Scorpio, but this is also, like I told you guys, when that tower comes out, look what just fell out of my hand. Look what just fell out of my hand. I'm going to leave it here. It like just fell out of my hand. Oh, it's the same cards. Tower, the world, death, wheel of fortune, all in the same readings. So very clear message, releasing your ex. It's the end. It's done. Death is the end of something. Death is also transformation. And after your transformation, this is what will come. I'm sorry to tell you guys that. For some of you guys, I know you're going to be really pissed to hear it. You're going to be really pissed to hear it. Look, soulmate. We'll leave that there too. Page of Swords, air. <clears throat> Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Then you have this card, Seven of Cups, which is not being able to make a decision. Unrequited love. Eight of Pentacles is working hard. It's been hard work in this relationship, but for some of you guys, it's been karmic. Your, the lesson has been learned. It's time to move on. Then we have Knight of Wands. Could be fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> That's about something coming in, some kind of a decision, <clears throat> some kind of an action that needs to be made. I feel like for this night, he's coming in quick. It's a quick decision that needs to be made. And then look at what you have. You have wishes coming true. You really do have beautiful cards. You have really sad, horrible cards. But the end result after this ending and this transformation is wishes coming true. Ten of fucking cups. Two of cups, which is soulmate love, right? And the lovers, which is also soulmate in union. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Dis it, they're, they're, it's balanced. There, there can be not just good and not just bad. There cannot be just light and dark, right? There has to be balance. Scorpios, there will be hard times. But look at what the end result is. Beautiful. Let's just get advice cards for you guys. Let's see how much will come out. Morning affirmations and positive energy. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. <coughs> so some of you guys really need to start saying affirmations. Google it if you don't know what affirmations are or what you should be saying. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Beautiful. I'm sorry, water signs. <laughs> I, I know. I mean, there were good messages in the beginning for that group of people. And for the rest of you, I'm sorry. This is your cycle. This is your cycle. This has, this is meant to happen. This has to happen. And it's a good thing because there will be transformation and there will be beautiful things in the end. Anyways, guys, if this video resonated with you and you would like a reading with me, please click on the box below to get all of my information. Um, my email is saltwaterhillstarot at gmail.com. If you want a personal reading in the title, please put down which uh, type of reading it is you want. If you have Facebook or Instagram, you can follow me there, Saltwater Hills Tarot. Anyways, guys, I send you guys lots and lots of love and light and lots of blessings. Okay, I'll see you guys in August. Love you.